port connection or something. Hi, hello. I'm going to do a quick demonstration for you just to test out the live feature here on Facebook. We will see how it goes. This is my progress so far. It's a mixed media, so acrylic paint and epoxy resin, mica powders, spray paint. A lot has gone into this painting. And it looks really dull right now, but as soon as I pour this top coat on, it's going to look real nice. I'm using roughly 16 ounces of resin to cover this. And I forgot my gloves. So give me just a moment while I put on my proper safety equipment. <laughs> it's almost instantaneous, but I don't know if I'm the only one who can see this or not. Is anyone here at all? And it continues stirring. Hello, would you like the world to see? been seen anyway. Anybody who's done this before knows that stirring is the worst part. But it's also one of the most important parts. So you mix the two parts of resin together. And... Stir for two minutes, and then you're going to put it in a clean cup and use a clean stick to stir it again for one minute. After that amount of time has passed, you are then free to tint your resin or pour it directly onto your canvas or substrate. nice mix. It's very hot in here today. Having a sketchy connection and I don't think anybody can watch. So we're going to keep going just to see if the quality of the video improves after it posts. Alright, so I've been stirring this for about two minutes. Scraping the sides, the bottom, and the stir stick. I'm going to pour the mix into a new container. If anybody's trying to watch and can't, I'm sorry. But again, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, so... That's also kind of a strategic thing I did. I didn't want a whole bunch of people to see me do my first live YouTube. Because who knows, I might ruin this wonderful nebula painting that I've started.
I've been getting a lot of followers on Instagram. Well, not a lot, but you know, a decent amount for someone who's just starting out. Followers on Instagram. I just want to say thank you for following me on Instagram. If you do not follow me on Instagram currently and would like to, same name, Flo Casso, F L O W C A S S O. It would be the same name for my Etsy and various other places on the interwebs. Curious who is watching. You know the feed doesn't look too bad. Looks a lot better than Facebook Live, but I guess YouTube's probably been doing this a lot longer. <clears throat> oh, hi Echo, thank you for stopping in. Please be watched tomorrow. <sighs> Hopefully it won't be a hot mess. I really like the feed quality better than what we get on Facebook Live. Sorry if I look like a deer in headlights. I'm trying to read comments in two spots and I know it's probably not very effective. But if you've seen my videos before, you're probably used to that. Hell yeah, Echo, this is probably my my way to do it moving forward. Haha, <laughs> hair dryer can fix everything. I shall use my hair dryer as well. call that just about thoroughly mixed. I don't know what that was. So in sticking with the theme of the Helix Galaxy, which I've already got going here, <clears throat> I'm going to use mostly clear resin. The picture has kind of a, a dark teal color. I'm going to change out of my gloves real quick while I'm doing this. And get new ones. This one's really watery though. Oh. I have to mix that color. I'm going to use sap green and phthalo green, just a little tiny amount, four drops, five drops of the green uh, fluid acrylic, and then, oh wow, that's even too much. like half a popsicle stick to start of the phthalo. <clears throat> I'm 
Next color I'm going to do is a light blue. Artist Loft China Blue for a base. So just a couple, three or four little squirts of that. And I'm going to get a little color shift. No, I didn't use the color shift. Pardon me. We're going to use uh, Dilutions Turquoise. It is Vibrant Turquoise. Can use it to tint, so to start just again like half of a popsicle stick. Then I'm going to use Color Shift, and this is the Aqua Flash. Color Shift paints are amazing. If you're not familiar with them, please try them. And I want a lot of this, so I'm going to use a pretty significant amount. No more than the size of a quarter. Um, I also need some black, but I don't like just plain black. Put a little bit of the black. Um, this is Craft Smart, just cheap craft paint. Craft paint. And then Apple Barrel Admiral Blue. We mix our own colors. We'll see how that goes, and then I'm probably going to add some mica to that, and maybe a couple other colors. Gloves back on. All right, and I've doubled up my gloves. That way, uh, one pair gets messy, I can just take them off and have a clean pair. Very nice idea that I saw online. for not cutting off. Let me please finish the video. I shall work faster. So what I'm getting here with the blue and black is a dark, dark, midnight black color. It's kind of translucent. You'll see it more on the canvas. And I'm kind of okay with the way that it looks, although I am 
I'm still going to put a little mica in it, because why not? You only live once, so we're going to put some of Jacquard's True Blue Mica Powder. That will give the resin, the epoxy, a iridescent or metallic look. But the cool part about it is it's going to be in a different shade of blue. I'm going to bring the epoxy close. And show what happens when you mix it. Let me mix it up real good. Don't breathe in the mica. It has almost a metallic. If I could get it closer. There we go. That looks decent. All right, well, anyways, this stuff has about a 40-minute work time, 30 to 45-minute work time. Very hot in here, so it's going to stay fairly fluid on its own without me having to heat it up or do anything like that. But I am going to try and work quickly so as not to get in a bind where the canvas is not where I want it to be and it's setting up. I think that's good. I don't know where we're going to be at with this color. Hopefully it will be light, milky. Okay, that's about perfect. Wow. Damn the luck. How, how did I get so lucky there? I think I want to add some macro pearl. <clears throat> we'll add a little alcohol or acetone. Acetone might be fun to try, although I shouldn't be experimenting on things that I like this much, that I've spent so much time on. Yes, that was the right thing to do. Okay. Now for my final color. Let's hope I'm so lucky. Um, it's kind of muddy. I might use it sparingly. to be clumping up really bad. Yeah, I don't think I should use this at all. Okay, let's begin. My one person watching, which might be myself, but that's okay. Sarah, are you here? I'm going to give the clear a good mix. And then I'm going to go over the parts that I absolutely want to stay the same. So the center, god damn it, pardon my language. Oh my gosh. So I have about 10 ounces of resin here in this cup. I'm not gonna pour it all. Just a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to 
just move it around. You guys can start to enjoy the transformation. If anyone actually ever gets to see this video, who knows? At the rate we're going, it might not even make it to be posted. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just move it out over the whole canvas. There's plenty here. I can always add a little bit more clear later if I need to go back and add more resin to a certain spot. Starting to get a little goofy, a little stubborn. But as soon as I heat it up with the torch, it'll start self-leveling again. It's really, really, really awesome how epoxy does that. You can do some really amazing things. So we brought it back. This is where it gets a little tricky. I decide if I'm going to use this grotesque green for starters. I don't think I want to tarnish the color scheme. But gosh dang, uh, Artist's lock paint that's doing it, making awful clumps. Yeah, I can't use that. <sighs> okay, here we go.
now I'm going to take off my first layer of gloves. Hopefully only my first layer of gloves. It's going to get a little serious, so I'm going to wear my newly purchased, very girly looking Darth Vader mask. On a serious note though, please do wear protection. If you're doing something like what you see me do here, in the next few seconds. This is a propane torch. If you do something like this, it's better to have a handheld butane torch. So please purchase one of those if you do that. Hi, Sarah. I'm glad you figured out how to chat. I'm going to give it a good roasting to warm and uh, Top all those bubbles, but it also gives the resin more fluid. I don't know what am I trying to say. Fluidity. Fluidity. All right, that's enough torching for now, don't you think? Now I am obligated to give a 15 second noise warning. I'm also going to disconnect the phone, hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy, like kick us off. Funnel. Oh shit! Give me just a few moments. I've got to whip me up a fancy little uh, What is it called? It's a, a funnel. I lost my funnel quite a while back, and now I have been uh, resorting to taping up combs. I mean, shit, in times of uh, struggle, you get by with ingenuity. But I do warn you, the uh, paper can fly off and it gets very hot very quickly, so you have to work quickly. Also not a bad idea to do it uh, do it uh, with just the hair dryer first.
I apologize for the noise. This is getting very warm, so I'm going to pour it quickly. Heat means that it's getting ready to set up super quick, so if you get heat, that means five minute warning maybe. Maybe you got a little bit longer, but... So I'm just going to get all the epoxy here. On the canvas, more in the middle here to preserve what we've got already. Give it a good torching. We're double checking to make sure that the sides have all been hit before we peel the paper. Which is hopefully, by the time I'm done, going to set perfectly. You know, sometimes it's okay to do things like this. Just to kind of get the ball rolling with your idea. Okay. Hold off. Torch. We may have to do another coat on this damned painting. But for now, let's do what we can do.
Damn it. I go through a lot of blood sites. Whatever, we'll call it a glove anyways, it works. Alright, scary time. This always freaks me out. Always afraid there will be enough flow. There's like no flow. What the fuck? Nothing. I'm going to make it work.
Oh shit, I'm sorry. Um, this is 18 by 24. I don't want to think about what time it is. <laughs> I've been doing this for 40 minutes, oh my god. It's going to be late. Okay. I wish I could have moved it more, but it was too unorganized. So I'm going to do something silly. In case I have to put another layer on. Alrighty. I think that's gonna be it. You're like, oh my god, what the hell did you just do? I'm fairly confident. I can fix it. Thank you, Sarah, for watching. Thank you, Echo, for stopping in and to anyone else who might see this video. Before I freak out and delete it. But there you have it. You should see posts of this in the near future on my Instagram. If you watch this video and you enjoy what you've seen, please subscribe. Follow me on Etsy. Uh, 
do all the things. Thank you for watching. And I don't know how to end it, so I'm going to have to walk over here and read like a goob. Oh, I guess I can take you down, too. Show you a, an aerial of what we've done. So, again, it's a little bit more than I wanted. I think I liked it better at the, the finger painting stage, honestly, but it's still a very interesting painting. Lots of depth, lots of things going on. Beautiful movement. Beautiful movement. And just because it's not exactly like the picture doesn't mean that it doesn't have value for someone. I can't really get a good focus of the whole thing. But anywho, if I have time, which I probably won't in the morning, but when I have time next, I will... I'll get really good pictures or a decent video of it. Thank you so much for watching anyways, and hopefully we can do more and improve as we get uh, more experienced. Good night.